So, hi everyone, Susie Shoemaker back. Today's video is a free estate haul. So, what's a free estate haul? Uh, you've never been to a estate sale. It's usually a company or a group of people that sell the estate of someone else. I rarely see it where the family does the estate sale. When someone has recently passed away and they just they can't have everything. And so what ends up happening is they have their estate sold. I find a lot of really cool things during estate sales. That's really nice canning jars, um, antique type stuff, linens, uh, tons of stuff over the years. This one we went to because my husband had found a china hutch and I've been looking for a china hutch and I said, oh, this, this might be perfect. So we didn't know it was a state sale at the time. We just knew we were going to look at this china hutch and it ended up being this last day free, free for all. So they had everything laid out and we ended up not getting the china hutch because we looked at the actual dimensions, we're like, this is not going to fit in our house very well. So we did get some other items though, some kitchens, um, like not utensils, but like bakeware. And well, I'll, I'm just gonna dive in. So one of the few kitchen S Tech things we got was this guy, and it was a glass Pyrex baking dish. You can see the tag is still on it. It was fifteen dollars. We got it for free. And it's in this silver uh, kind of stand. And I thought it was really cool. And how pretty would that be during the holidays? Um, you can set it on the table. It looks very fancy, like you're placing be very delicate for your guests. Um, not gonna burn the table, not gonna burn the counter, not gonna crack anything. And it looks really pretty. So I may have to polish this up. If any of you have any tips on silver polishing, that would be great because I do not know how I'm going to get this all clean. But I'm sure I can find something. That was that. One of the next kind of larger items we got was this guy. And this was $6. We got it for free. Uh, we got it mostly for this, this falling apart. <laughs> this base down here. And we got it to put succulents in. So we're probably going to donate these six silk flowers or something. Um, but my husband's actually going to use the silk flowers for his classroom because he teaches photography. So he's going to give the students a project with these. So double use for those guys. Uh, one of the next things we got was this globe. And it has a stopper in it. I think it's like a bird feeder type of thing. But it's really pretty. My husband loves blown glass. And so it's really colorful. And the price tag on this guy was $8. Um, some of the other baking stuff we got are these metal bowls, which I think are pretty awesome. We use them for lots of different things when we're serving food, when we're doing prep work. Um, he uses them sometimes during his car stuff because they're metal, they won't break. So he might steal one of these or both of these. He can have to uh, twerk on his car stuff. Um, the one of the last kitchen things we got, because the other ones are kind of buried, is this bowl. It's dirty right now, I have to wash it. It was $6. It's, for free. it's a very nice Pyrex bowl. And I like to do these when I'm making kind of quick steamed vegetables in the microwave. I'll put some broccoli with a little water or something and just microwave it. Then making a bigger dish or for serving pasta because it has the handles. And these are usually really expensive. And Pyrex is a really good brand. They last forever. And so I was really happy to get this guy. I think it's clanging off screen. Uh, I'm trying to get all the kitchen stuff done with at first. So Random silverware is this guy. It is stainless steel, but it goes very well with the set we have. 
um, and it's a gravy spoon, gravy ladle. I did not have one of these whenever we have Thanksgiving or something. I always wanted one of these so I don't spill gravy all over my table. Now I have one and I got it for free. The next one was this cute little cup. It has nothing on the bottom. So I have no idea um, if it's made in China, made in the US, if it's a replica, if it's an original, if it's an antique, I have no idea. If you know, you can let me know. However, I do love this pattern. It's very bright, it's very colorful, there's no cracks or chips in it, and I've recently broken a couple cups, so now I got to replace it with this guy, which is quite adorable, and I love it. And again, it's free. So, I guess kind of on the kitchen theme is this adorable doily. It is handmade, I crochet, and I can tell it's hand done. This is done with, this is done by someone who doesn't know how to, didn't probably know how to do rows properly. I can tell because the lines right here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But I thought it was really pretty. It has a little hanging hook, so it could be decorative or I could use it as a trivet. It feels really thick like it was meant to be a trivet, and I think it's really adorable, and I love handmade stuff like this. Again, free. Kind of one of my favorite things that we found that was free is tins. They had a ton of metal tins. They were 50 cents. They sold the tax on them. But I love to put cookies and various things for people for the holidays or other events in there. So we got this snowman one. We got a is it poinsettia? Poinsettia one. It was two dollars in the store. It was 50 cents there. We got this red snowflake one. This one was bigger. It was from Walmart, apparently. It was a dollar. And then this kind of flatter one. But it's really wide. So that would be good for our, like shortbreads, I think. Uh, this was 50 cents. And then this guy is huge. has little green ornaments on it. This was $1.50. It was $3 at Walmart. You got that guy. My favorite one is this one. Elekruli Lebkuchen. It sounds German. Maybe you can tell me what it's all about. I have no idea. It looks like it was chocolate. Oh, traditional German gingerbread. But it was $3. I love this tin and I'm not giving it away because I think it's adorable. And that was it for kitchen stuff. But no, I don't have it. My husband's already put it away. But it uh, was a tire iron. He needed a tire iron for his truck and they had one. It was free. So one thing I found was this box set and it's super cute. It's the American Geographical Society Around the World Program by Nelson Doubleday Incorporated. So it pulls out, and then inside you have a ton of these old, old maps. Maps of everywhere, which I think is really cool because I do GIS work, I do so it's digital mapping, geography. Um, my husband loves old maps. And I don't know what we're going to do with them quite yet, but even if we don't do anything with them, it looks very nice. Uh, one of the next things we found, I found it for my husband, is this clock. My husband loves wood, wood pictures, so he's always looking at these wood clocks. Um, we found this guy, and he's like, oh, we need to have this. You can see a lot of the stuff I said he needed. Not very much of it was stuff he needed. And then the last thing we got was for me, for my books, are these awesome little mini globe bookends. And these were $12. And I got them, or maybe I think they were $12 each, maybe. So that together they were $24 because they have a price tag on each of them. They're made in Hong Kong, apparently. 
but their paper on here, paper here, and then they're like all wood and brass, and they're really, really cool. Uh, I've never seen globes like this as bookends, and I absolutely adore them. I'm so happy I found them because I actually just realized I would like some bookends, and now I have them, so I'm really happy. And that was the extent of our free haul from the estate sale. Uh, if you have any great finds you want to tell me about, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video and like more videos like it, give me a thumbs up or say, hey, I want you to do a video about I would be happy to do that. Uh, if you want any more tips on like zero waste, low waste kind of things, some of these items would make really nice gifts. We considered getting some items for gifts for people, but we weren't 100% sure they would actually like them. We didn't want to get them, just have them sitting around. Um, but, great way to get gifts or packaging, because if you found tins like this, that's waste-free packaging for gifts. And I don't think I'll leave a link to my blog in this video. I don't think there's anything that really relates to it on this one. Um, but check out some of my other videos if you do want to see any more of my hauls. Or I have another video. I'm going to put a link somewhere in here uh, to the other video of some of my favorite free items. I hope you enjoyed it and I will